Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make a character jump through the objects when it goes upwards and land on them when player goes down. Such feature is useful in platformer games. Scripts as usual will be available by the link in the description. Here is our scene where we have this background image with all of the furniture. Also here is a sofa empty game object with box collider 2D component attached. This collider represents a seat place of the sofa. Then we have a table empty game object with box collider 2D attached. This collider represents an upper desk of the table. Also here is a floor game object with box collider 2D component, so it represents a floor. Ok. Finally, here is our player represented by this raccoon. Player has a circle collider 2D component to run on the floor, on the sofa and on the table. Also it has a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to 2, collision detection set to continuous and freeze Z rotation option. Player has raccoon control script attached to control player behavior. Here are adjustable public jump force and move speed variables. Here is one important thing before we take a look at this script. Our raccoon game object has its layer option set to player. As long as sofa and table have this option as furniture. These two new layers are added here in layers section of inspector tab. Then I assign them to corresponding game objects. Floor has default layer in this case. Now let's take a closer look at raccoon control script. Here is a rigid body 2D reference, direction x variable to control player movement, jump force and move speed variables. Also here are a couple of int variables that will hold indexes of layers that player, sofa and table game objects have. So in start method we get these indexes from layers names. In update method we had direction to move from arrow keys pressed. And if jump button is pressed, then we do jump by add a force to raccoon rigid body component. In fixed update method we pass a velocity to rigid body to move a player. Here is an important if statement in update method. So if vertical velocity of the player is greater than zero, which means that player goes up, then collisions between player layer and furniture layer is ignored and raccoon can go through the sofa and table. If player goes down, then it can land on furniture. For example, if we comment all of the code that allows us to jump through the furniture here, here and here, then save the script and hit play. Then player can't jump through the sofa and table anymore. Because player's collider hits sofas and table's colliders. Let's get everything back. Save the script and hit play. Now everything works fine. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.